all right welcome everybody it's kb here and uh, in this video i'm going to show you guys how to debloat windows 10 and this is a fresh install of windows 10 and i haven't installed anything and these are how many apps it has if you go to the start menu or even if you go to the apps section where you can remove and see all the installed applications you can see i have 39 apps that are pre-installed some of them are useful some of them are not if you like clean windows experience then uh, you should watch this video until the end because i'm just going to show you guys how to completely get rid of every single application that comes with windows 10 all right and we are going to do this with the help of this application called bloat box and this is a open source and free program and it works amazingly all right i will put a link in the description for this github page from here you can download this all right if you need to learn more about this you can also read everything whatever they have written here but uh, i'm just going to show you how to do it how to use it all right just go to releases or go to downloads all right and it will open the new page from here under the assets just click on bloatbox.zip and it will download the file all right go to your downloads folder unzip it just like that and you will see a bloat box application now you need to right click and run it as administrator because this application can also uninstall system apps and this is what it's going to look like very simple and easy to use these are like the applications which comes with uh, windows 10 right and uh, we can also see and uninstall system apps too at the down bottom to the left side you will see show system apps you just need to click on that and it will give you the disclaimer okay and you can also uninstall system applications too all right so let me give you the demo how it works let's say you want to uninstall skype application which comes pre-installed and some applications can be uninstalled manually too you can just simply uninstall them by going into the uninstall section in the windows but some of them cannot be uninstalled so this is just a demo if you want to uninstall one by one you can do that let's say for example skype application i'm going to select that and click on add selected and after that i need to click on uninstall which will uninstall the application that we want to uninstall for example we uninstalled skype so skype will be no longer here okay it's just gone another thing you can do is let's say you like super clean windows experience then what you can do is just click on add all which will actually add all the applications to uninstall list and we can uninstall everything all right so you can see how many apps we have so many of them all right and once i uninstall everything you will see everything will be gone it will be a lot cleaner okay so i can let's say if you want some applications to be on your system you don't want to uninstall you can actually uh, remove selected let's say i don't want to uninstall the camera application i want to use my webcam you can do that and rest i'm just going to uninstall all right and it's uninstalling one by one automatically okay and once it's done check your start menu or your apps section everything will be gone and you may see fail to remove you can see at the top we have successfully removed which are like uh, uninstalled fail to remove which means these applications are important for your windows os all right uh, so these are necessary to use windows features core features just like uh, windows uh, search if we uninstall this this search will not work so this application is also smart it won't uninstall those applications which are necessary all right got it i hope you got it <laughs> okay so now let's check our start menu and you can see there are less applications so remember we kept the camera application the camera application is here all right 
if you want to remove everything you can do oh add all uninstall and you will see the camera application will be gone because we removed everything there is calculator microsoft edge microsoft store we can also uninstall microsoft store but i don't recommend you guys to uninstall microsoft store unless you will never use it because the apps you uninstalled you might need them in the future you can use microsoft store to download them again let's say for example windows camera application you can download that application again from the microsoft store okay so there is one drive left we can actually manually uninstall it okay uh, i'm just gonna uninstall this i rarely use microsoft onedrive so yeah i'm just gonna uninstall it and it will be gone and these are all the applications left after we have done uninstalling everything okay these are only the visible applications now we can also uninstall system application if we click on show system apps if we do that it will give you the disclaimer that it won't remove those important applications that are important to your windows os yeah <laughs> very simple so for example you can see microsoft edge it won't uninstall that because if you uninstall the microsoft edge you won't be able to surf the internet unless you have the other browser okay but uh, it's just gonna keep the microsoft edge here and microsoft edge now is actually good because it is based on uh, google chrome so not google chrome chromium actually yeah google chrome and the microsoft edge are now like the same type of browser okay so it will give you that disclaimer just click ok uh, the good thing about this application is that it won't uninstall those important applications okay so i can like click add all and uh, whatever can be uninstalled will get uninstalled whatever cannot be or whatever should not be uninstalled uh, it will not uninstall so let's say for example i want to keep microsoft store i'm just going to select that okay and i'm going to re remove from the selection because i want to keep the microsoft store so i can download some applications whenever i need them so i'm going to hit an uninstall and with, it will try to uninstall everything that can be uninstalled all right so successfully uninstalled microsoft edge stable uh this and windows calculator you can see windows calculator is also gone now we have only two applications left <laughs> in our system microsoft store and the microsoft edge so that's that okay and as i told you guys you can also uninstall microsoft store too but uh, like it's your personal preference if you want to use microsoft store keep it but if you are sure that you will never use microsoft store you can uninstall it so for your uh, you know just for the demo i'm just gonna add all and uninstall the microsoft store just like that okay now you will see microsoft store is now gone <laughs> forever right so i can unpin these these are like shortcuts if you click on them it will get installed again okay automatically so these are not uh, the actual applications you saw that okay so now you can see we have clean uh, windows 10 all right we have some essential applications all right notepad paint you can actually uninstall that i didn't know about that okay you can okay some of the applications are like you can uninstall them these are optional features actually you can also add features like you can see graphic tool uh, like fonts there are many optional features that you can download so this is one of those and you can actually uninstall them if you don't need that like for example microsoft wordpad you can uninstall that it will be gone so notepad you see here we have notepad here i will uninstall it we can reinstall them by going into the add feature okay easy peasy but let me show you here that the notepad is gone so you can slim down your windows 10 to like absolutely clean nest 
experience okay so this is like some of them you can just uninstall them manually internet explorer i didn't knew that you can actually uninstall that wow is it gone no it's not gone actually internet explorer is a thing that is necessary as of now in windows 10 but the, it did install something oh okay we need to reboot our system to completely uninstall internet explorer 11 yeah so that's that <laughs> this is like pretty cool application bloatbox uh, which makes your windows experience super clean if you're one of those people who never use stock applications of windows then you can completely get rid of them and then go to internet and uh, download your favorite application let's say for media you will you, you want to use the vlc download that let's say for photo something for photo download for that because you know you have completely cleaned your windows 10 and it is now completely clean and these are all the applications that we have some of them are like very essential without these applications uh, windows won't run it will crash so these are like control panel file explorer run task manager these are like built-in tools of the uh, windows which you should not uninstall and uh, rest you know uninstallable things are gone forever okay <laughs> so that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the bloat box github page from there you can download that and one more thing you can actually use this bloat box uh, application on windows 11 too so if you want me to make a separate video just for the windows 11 doing the same thing uh, do the comment and i'll do it yeah so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.